بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم سالار خان ہیئر اینڈ ٹو ڈے ٹو ڈے ود واٹ ود دی لاسٹ کیس آف دا وولٹیج ریگولیٹر سرکٹ وی ہیو آلریڈی سین دا فسٹ ون وی آئی دا ان پٹ وولٹیج اینڈ دا لوڈ بوتھ آر فکسڈ ان دا سیکنڈ کیس وی سو دا لوڈ لوڈ ریگولیشن وی آر دی لوڈ از ویریبل اینڈ دا ان پٹ سپلائی از فکسڈ ٹو ڈے دا نمبر تھرڈ دیٹ وی سی از واٹ دیٹ از دی لائن ریگولیشن سو لیٹ می گیو دی ہیڈنگ دیٹ از دی لائن ریگولیشن وی آلریڈی نو فرام دی انٹروڈکٹری ویڈیو واٹ از اے لائن ریگولیشن سو دا تھنگ از دیٹ دی آؤٹ پٹ از کانسٹنٹ ار رسپیکٹو آف واٹ ایور ہیپنس ان دا سرکٹ سو دی آؤٹ پٹ از کانسٹنٹ اینڈ اوور ہیئر دا لائن ریگولیشن از دیٹ دا ان پٹ وولٹیج از ویریبل سو دس مینس دیٹ دی آؤٹ پٹ وولٹیج از کانسٹنٹ ار رسپیکٹو آف دا ان پٹ وولٹیج بینگ ویریبل سو لیٹ می پٹ این ایر اوور ہیئر فار دا ویریبل سورس so uh, and 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 the load resistance would also be fixed in this case so the load resistance is also fixed in this case all right so you know the thing r is the current limiting resistor a current flows i flows over here iz is the current flowing through the diode il is the current flowing through the load so now then there should be a minimum there should be a minimum voltage level of the input supply that would turn the zener diode on which means what that would force the zener diode to enter into the breakdown region yes and how to determine that minimum voltage level so again you know that very well you know that very well that we open circuit it we open circuit this terminal and we find the voltage so the voltage is basically equal to v output and you know that very well that the voltage across the open circuited diode let it be v this is equal to the output voltage v naught which would be equal to what so you can you know this very well i have done it multiple times uh, this is vi times rl this is vi times rl divided by r plus rl voltage divider rule simply right yes now now what happened this voltage this voltage should be greater than vz this voltage should be greater than the zener potential of the diode in order to enter it into the breakdown region so the minimum voltage level required for this case if i write is so i would write a minimum with this and i would just just equate it to the zener potential so that would be just the minimum one to turn it on so what do i say i would say vi minimum into rl divided by r plus rl and this is equal to vz yes and you know what i have done the meaning of this you know it very well so this implies what that you've got the value of your vi minimum so you've got the value of the input minimum voltage to turn the zener diode on so this is r plus rl times vz and further divided by the value of the load resistance rl further simplify for yourself that is something for you to do you can whatever you want to do with it so this is the minimum voltage required that will turn the zener diode on now what would be the maximum the maximum uh, allowable the maximum allowable uh, limit for the for this voltage across the diode so that would be limited by what yes by the current so we i maximum we i maximum will be limited by what is limited by by iz maximum of course iz maximum and iz maximum comes from where it comes from the power rating of the device which is pz maximum this would be equal to vz times iz maximum the maximum power dissipation or the minimum power what the minimum power rating of a device okay so uh, yes what is next what is next so you from here you can see that i which is let's say for instance ir the current through the resistor this one ir so this is equal to what this is equal to iz plus il 
Yes, yes. So what happens is if you see, so RL is a fixed quantity. So RL is a fixed quantity. V naught is a fixed quantity. So which means that V naught is IL times RL. Now RL is fixed. V naught is fixed. So which means that IL is fixed. Yes, yes. And Zener diode current has to be variable. So if this is variable, this means that the load current would also be variable in the, the, the resistive current would also be variable in this case, which means I could write what? I can write two equations from here that if I have the load resistor current to be the, the current limiting resistor to be maximum current, this would imply that the Zener current would be minimum plus I L fixed. No, this is wrong. This is wrong. This should also be maximum, right? This should also be maximum and I have written it somewhere over here. Yes. 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 This is maximum. Yeah, because fixed plus variable. So you have to make it a maximum. And similarly, if the if the for this to be minimum, the Zener current has also to be minimum over here. Why? Why? Because the load current is fixed. Yes, yes. And I input you can calculate. This is also called the input current or the resistive current. You could say I R you could calculate from where you could calculate from V input minus V Z divided by R. Now, I, why did I write V Z I R is variable? Because the input voltage is variable right so if the input voltage would be maximum the current would also be maximum and if this vi is minimum this ir would be minimum so you can further write the two cases over here that if i r minimum i r minimum when it happens for vi minimum minus vz upon r similarly i r maximum when will it happen it would happen for vi maximum minus vz upon r yes yes the power dissipation we've already discussed i hope it is clear and i also hope that i have not missed any point v input is vr plus vz v input is vr plus vz yes yes so if i write over here that v input is vr plus vz now again have a look the the vz is a fixed quantity vz is a fixed quantity so which means that if the input voltage is maximum the vr would also be maximum and similarly if the input voltage is minimum vr also has to be minimum you can also see from here right yes now i don't think that i have missed anything everything is uh, uh, done yes yes so let us have an example let us have an example from the book okay where is it ir maximum would be iz maximum plus il ir maximum would be iz maximum plus il which is the fixed quantity yes it is so i hope this is clear yes yes so example and this example number is 2.28 2.28 is the example number determine the range of values of v input determine the range of values of v input uh, so v input is let's say unknown right yes and then what happens is uh, that will maintain the zener diode in the on state so which means again you need to know the minimum and the maximum values okay so the, the the things are given v input is unknown of course you have r is 220 ohms r is 100 uh, r is 220 ohms uh, vz is 20 volts then you have what you have iz maximum is 60 milliamperes iz maximum you would see a small m in the subscript this is maximum and when you see a k that is the knee current for minimum okay 
yes and then you have rl which is 1.2 kilo ohms so rl is fixed at 1.2 kilo ohms and the range of v input is unknown so have a look can you not do it by yourself can you not do it by yourself you can so v input minimum v input minimum this is the formula r plus rl divided by rl into vz so have a look v input minimum would be r plus rl 1.2 kilo so let me name a 10 power 3 and divide into vz which is 20 divided by rl 1.2 into 10 power 3 you can do your calculations the input minimum voltage comes out to be 23.67 volts 23.67 volts 23.67 volts yes yes now you can find out what you can find out il which would be v naught upon rl yes you can find out this is a fixed quantity il is v naught upon rl so il v naught would be 20 divided by rl is a 1.2 kilo what is the answer to this uh, 16.67 milliamperes 16.67 milliamperes yes now next what do we find out we find out the value of IR maximum so we find out the value of IR maximum now why am I doing this why am I doing this so let me tell you wait a minute wait ir maximum is iz maximum plus il iz maximum is 60 plus you have a 16.67 this comes out to be 76.67 milliamperes now why am i doing this so have a look i need the value of v input maximum so for that i need vz is fixed i already have it i need vr maximum so for vr maximum i need to have ir maximum and for ir maximum i need to have iz maximum and il yes so i had il i had iz no sorry i had iz i found out il so if i find out il now i have found out ir yes so from ir i would find out vr yes yes so we i we are we are maximum we are maximum would be what it would be i r maximum times r so which is equal to uh, this thing 76.6 milli into into r is a 220 milli right so so we are maximum comes out to be have a look this comes out to be 16 point six sixteen point eight seven sixteen point eight seven 16.87 and and this is in volts right in volts right uh yes yes and now have a look so i've got we are maximum so the v input maximum i could find out from this formula that my v input maximum would be we are maximum 16.87 plus v vz which is 20 so you have what you have a 20 and 36 point eight seven volts so which means that you have found out the range you can write it in that form that form as well vi minimum you've called vi maximum the formulas are written over here anything unknown anything unknown you can find out from here yes yes let me give you another circuit let me give you another question do you want to take a, a homework or not anyways let me do it let me do it you have the input is a 6 volt battery is shown right V input is 6 volt battery is shown consider this figure if you consider this figure you have a 6 volt battery shown the regulated voltage is 5 volts across the so, so let me keep writing over here so the question input is shown as 6 volt battery I'm coming to this I'm, I have the question on line regulation right similarly then you have V output which is equal to 5 volts across 1 kilo ohm load so rl is 1 kilo ohms iz minimum is given is 2 milliamperes so iz minimum is given that is 2 
मिली एम्पेयर्स एंड वी इनपुट मे वेरी V input may vary 5% from its nominal value of 6 volts. So this is the question that V input may vary 5% from its nominal value. Now th this is the question basically. The only understanding point is this one. If you understand this, you you have done everything, right? What is unknown? The value of the current limiting resistor is unknown. Or I told you this is also the also may 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 also be the this may be the internal resistance of the source or it may be the series that is the current limiting resistance. So R is unknown and the power rating of the device is unknown. Power rating. Okay, so let us get started. Now the main thing is V input. This is a question of line regulation. Why? Because the input voltage is varying. So how much is the input voltage varying? That is not the concern. The concern is that it's varying. So this is the case of line regulation. So it's varying by 5%. So which means this would have a 6 plus minus 5% of 6 right so this is equal to first time you you have it a plus five percent of six is what it's a point three right five percent of six is zero point three so which means you have a, a minimum value we input minimum this would be equal to six minus zero point three which would be equal to five point seven and then you would have an input maximum value which will be a 6 plus 0 0.3 this is a 6.3 so this is what you have this is what you have so now you can do it now you can do it yes yes anyways let's do it a stepwise let's do it a stepwise so v naught is equal to vl which is equal to 5 volts right if you have v naught so which means you have got vl as well v naught is equal to vl is equal to 5 volts now if you have uh, v naught you can find out il because you also have rl so il would be what v naught is 5 and divided by 5 so il is a 1 milliamperes so you've got il as well now if you got il this il is a fixed current this il is a fixed current you know very well yes yes so have a look to these two formulas you have iz maximum no you have iz minimum so which means you can find ir minimum yes yes you can find out ir minimum so if you find out ir minimum let's say ir minimum so this would be equal to what this would be equal to iz minimum which is given in this case where is it no 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 ir minimum is unknown iz minimum is given iz minimum is given which is a 2 milliampere plus il is 1 milliampere so this becomes equal to 3 milliampere now have a look ir minimum is a 3 milliampere now from here we can calculate the value of r we can calculate the value of r how because i r is v i minus v z upon r i r is v i minus v z upon r isn't it like this so if i r is the minimum value which means you would have to put the minimum value of the voltage as well yes so this implies what that 3 milliamperes is equal to vi minimum which is uh, which is 5.7 minus vj which is 5 divided by the value of r so you do the cross multiplications you've got the value of r which comes out to be what a hundred ohms this comes out to be a hundred ohms fine yes now what do you do now why did i not use this equation because i did not have the value of iz max now i need to find the power rating of the device so power rating p is is vz times iz maximum now i need iz maximum so how can i find it over here iz maximum how can i find it from here from this formula yes ir maximum is equal to this and this so how can i find it have a look ir maximum let me name it equation one so one implies what that ir maximum so i would put a vi minus vz upon r and if ir is maximum this means that vi has to be maximum and this would be equal to what minus il would be equal to iz maximum minus il 
which is a fixed would be equal to iz maximum so put down the values uh, you can find it out vz is what vz is 5 and and put the values over here so vi maximum is 6.3 minus 5 uh, and divided by r is 100 and you have a minus over here il is il we found out is a 1 milliampere so you do the calculations pz the power rating of the device comes out to be 40 milliwatts 40 milliwatts the value of iz maximum is i believe 8 milliamperes anyways you could just check it 8 milliamperes yes because it fives are 40 yes 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 so anyways this is it about the line regulation as well this is it about the line regulation so i hope this is clear i hope you have understood the point and i hope this was an interesting topic of the voltage regulation once again i tell you about the minimum power rating of the device what is the minimum power rating it is the maximum power wattage of the device that is the maximum power dissipation of the device okay so you need to keep this in mind minimum power rating is equal to maximum power dissipation this is a very very important point a very very confusing point most people get confused now over here as it was asked the minimum power rating so most people do what they put the minimum uh, diode current over here so they get it wrong okay normally normally this should be greater the minimum power rating is greater is greater but the power rating is greater than the maximum power dissipation but for minimum we write it as equal to it fine yes now this was we we discussed if we i is fixed r is variable then we have discussed if we i is variable r is fixed and we also discussed if both of them are fixed now if let's say for instance i say the last case is case number four so just in a hurry i will write it down that is not important basically the book has not discussed it but i have some formulas so the fourth case you could say is that if both vi and rl are variable so let me put a variable sign on the rl over here yes and let me take my copy and also once again i am sorry i always apologize for the background noises this i have told you the reason is a very heavy construction going on in the side in the neighborhood so under such condition we have to calculate the dynamic range of the current limiting resistor r so under such condition when both of these are variable so for the diode to be on this depends on the minimum value and the maximum value of this current limiting resistor r so in this case r minimum let me just directly use the formula vi minus vz upon r vi minus vz upon r isn't this the formula it is so r minimum would be what when would it be minimum when no no this is ir divided by ir sorry this comes from i is equal to vi minus vz upon r yes yes so when would this r be minimum this r would be minimum when this input voltage is minimum and when this r is minimum this would imply that the ir is maximum vz is already fixed similarly again if i write if i say r is equal to vi minus vz upon ir so have a look for the maximum value of r when would this r be maximum if the value of the current is minimum and when would this current be minimum when the voltage is minimum when the voltage is minimum right when the voltage is minimum and over here i have a mistake yes because this resistance would be minimum if the current is maximum and the current is maximum when when the input voltage is maximum yes yes now it's fine for variable problems in zener diodes 
for variable problems is zero diodes in this case for variable problems in zero diodes what is the case normally normally the case is that ir is sometimes greater than or it is equal to il plus iz this ir may be sometimes greater this is a rare case okay the last one you don't need to have it confused you don't need to get into a detail i'm just writing out the formulas this is what vi minus vz upon r so this would be greater than or equal to il plus iz and i finish this video over here i finish this video over here because i believe that this is an enough uh, discussion on the topic of voltage regulators that is it for me if you have anything else you may ask in the comment section i believe the next topic is what bipolar junction transistor till then take care of yourselves and everyone around you do remember me in your prayers do subscribe to the channel goodbye